good morning. Starting on my day at Target, getting a little Starbucks. Dun, dun, dun. So I got the maple pecan latte. It's new. Never had it before. I love maple. I love pecans. Is it pecan or pecan? What do you say? I don't know. I kind of go back and forth. Let's try it. Not bad. Pretty good. The one thing I do think is annoying is you've got your coffee and I'm at Target and I got no place to put it. That's the one thing about Martins, they've got the little cup holders for their Starbucks. Something Target should think about. I think someone's mowing the lawn in Target. Oh no, just the floor. Gotta pick up a couple things for Matthew. College ruled. He's gonna be there soon. He needs some one inch notebooks. What do you think? Gray and blue. Almost forgot my coffee because I don't have a cup holder. Ooh. Have y'all tried this yet? Delicious. So I kind of improvised with the uh, cup holder. It works for now, I guess. I feel like that cat is staring at me. No matter what direction I go. That's not a cat. It's a cat head on a person's body. I don't know. Either way, that's creepy. I found a shirt for Barry. Anybody who watches the show, the Goldbergs, will get that reference. So with the end of the baseball season here and the postseason upon us, let's go Nats. I wanted to bring you guys a little something different. For those of you that don't know, we actually have somebody buried here in Martinsburg, West Virginia that was a baseball immortal. One of the greatest players to ever play the game. Now he wasn't born here and he didn't die here, but he spent a lot of his life here. Born on April 26, 1900 in Elwood City, Pennsylvania. And he died on November 23rd, 1948 in Baltimore. The immortal Hack Wilson is buried right here in Martinsburg, West Virginia. As you can see, some people have left some paraphernalia, some baseballs, a baseball bat here. Now he played from 1923 to 1934. Now his greatest years were with the Chicago Cubs. And I, um, he actually hit a major league record 190 RBIs and in 1999 they went back and looked it up it's actually 191 RBIs and he hit 56 homers in 1930 which is the 191 RBIs is still a major league record and the 56 home runs was a major league record all the way up until Mark McGuire broke his record in 1998 One of baseball's immortals, Lewis R. Hack Wilson, rests here. Now, the, one of the reasons that Hack rests here is because growing up, he played for the Martinsburg Blue Sox, a minor league team that was affiliated with the New York Giants. And he played here, and then after his career, he came back here and tried to open up a bar, but the bar failed and he ended up moving to Baltimore. It looks like his parents are both buried here as well. I'm guessing that's, that's who that is. Mary Wilson, born in 1880, died in 1949. And Reverend Fulton Wilson, Fulton Wilson, born in 1879, died in 1973. This is their grave here, and you can see Haxos over there, sort of behind it. We've got another memorial here, so you got you got one here. That's their parents. So I'm guessing their parents are kind of laid to rest, sort of in between here, and then you've got Hax over there with him laid to rest, coming down the hill here. 
I'm over here at Rosedale Cemetery, just east of Martinsburg, right off Cemetery Road. And for the 27 years I've lived here, I've never actually been to the to the gravesite of Hack Wilson. I've I've known about it, knew that he played here, knew that he played for the Blue Sox, but I never actually came over here until today. Just come out, check it out, especially if you're a baseball fan. Come over here and pay your respects. Matthew's with me today. What do you think, Matthew? Did you know that we had a immortal baseball legend buried right here in Martinsburg? No, I didn't actually. Even though Hack Wilson played for the Cubs, who the Nats are playing starting Friday night, still going to root for the Nats. But uh, kind of cool to know that we had a immortal baseball legend here who still holds a major league record of 191 RBIs. I mean, that's just amazing to me. 191 RBIs in 1930. So I used to have a channel called I Am Geek, and I used to post movie reviews with my friend Justin. Haven't really done any movie reviews since I started this new vlog, but today Matthew and I are going to go see The Kingsman. We'll give you a little update on uh, what we think of it when we're done. That is a great poster for Ragnarok coming out in about uh, a month or so, and so does Justice League. All right, quick review on the Kingsman Golden Compass, no, Golden Circle. Uh, the Kingsman Golden Circle. Um, I thought it was good, not great. Uh, for a sequel, they definitely tried to go a little too over the top. It had a very Men in Black 2 vibe, if you kind of understand what I'm going with that. Um, a lot of the jokes were a little over the top. Really didn't like the villain that much. I thought it was kind of cheesy. Julian Moore plays the villain. Um, a couple of the jokes were good. Uh, if you watch the first one, there's a lot of callbacks, but I definitely say that it's a it's a, a rental, or you know, wait till it comes out on DVD or Blu-ray or Netflix or whatever. You know, it's not one that you you have to go and see in the theater. It was good, not great. I'd give it probably six and a half out of ten. So uh, a couple other movies I really want to see. I can't wait to see the new Blade Runner. I introduce my boys. Ethan and Matthew to uh, to the original Blade Runner final cut this week and they both seem to enjoy it for a 30 plus year old movie 35 year old movie geez yeah so uh, uh, hopefully gonna go see that here soon and bring a review on that so hope you enjoy hope and this is the other thing I hope you enjoy these vlogs I enjoy doing them bringing you guys a little bit of what's going on in my world in my day uh, I, I get a lot of people that come up to me and, and, and tell me that they, they like them. So if you like them, uh, hit a, give me a like, uh, give me a, a share. If you're on, watching on YouTube, give me a subscribe. I would love that. And uh, we'll catch you next time.